We go back to it. Fundamentals. I never said when you want to eat as bad as you want. <laughs> I never said that because you can go 30 days without eating, right? Gandhi fast. So many people fast for, you know, 20, 30 days. I never said when you want to succeed as bad as you want to drink water. I think you could probably survive maybe three or four days without water. I said as bad as you want to breathe. You can't go five minutes. Like, that's brain damage. Like, you can't go five minutes without breathing. So what I was trying to get to both groups is that the challenge is not potential. The challenge is not even talent. The challenge is desire. They said effort is the indicator of interest, right? Effort is the indicator of interest. And so I think the biggest challenge is that people have potential. They actually have some skill set. I just think most people don't want it. Like they don't put forth the effort. So it's like if your effort match your dreams, like everybody's had dreams and goals. If your effort match, so I go to NFL players and say, like I got a client right now. I told the client the other day, I said, let's be honest. You an all-star, but you're not a superstar. It's a difference. You're an all-star. You're only an all-star because of your, your height. Like you were born that way. You were given that. That's a God-given gift. But your effort does not match. It doesn't match your talent. Your talent is 120. Your effort is about 70. And I'm telling you, I travel to these corporations, these athletes, just normal people. And it's like, man, you're only giving 70%. What would life look like if you gave 120%? Like, what would it look like if you actually worked for every check you got? You know, like, I know you want the check, but what if it looked like if you had to really work for every check? And so for me, it doesn't matter if you're poor. It doesn't matter if you're middle class. It doesn't matter if you're rich. I truly believe that the difference between humans is how bad they want it. And there's a group that wants it as bad as they want to eat. They do. You get hungry, you want to eat. There are a lot, you know, people don't like the fat. There's a group that drink, you get thirsty. But there's a group that they want it so bad, it's like breathing. Like they eat it, they drink it, they sleep it. And I don't think success is as much about talent as we like to believe it is. Or I wouldn't be where I am today. I wouldn't be considered one of the number one motivational speakers in the world. I don't believe I'm better than the late, great Zig Ziglar, who was my favorite. I don't believe that I'm more skilled than a Tony Robbins or a Les Brown, right? I don't believe I'm more skilled than most of the people out here that's doing this work. But I don't know how many, I don't know how many people had a content, the volume of content that I have. I don't know how many people getting up at three o'clock in the morning and doing a video noon, doing a video at night when you go home. I'm giving you something so your family could be excited when you get home. Like, I don't know how many people work. Like I say all the time, your mama might have this or your dad might be rich or you might have a net work or a net worth, but you will not outwork me. That's effort. That's heart. That's desire. Man, I just think America, I think we slipping a little bit in terms of, you know, when I was coming up as a kid in the 70s, America was like, you know, you it, no other country was even close to us. You know what I'm saying? We like a superhero. But I believe that we're not as competitive because it seems like the effort that my grandfather had to just grind and work, like that effort doesn't seem like it's there anymore. It seems like more people want and wish, but they don't have that work ethic that we used to have. So I just believe, man, desire, desire and effort and putting forth work. I think that's what a lot of people are missing. And I don't care where you were born or where you come from. To me, that is the difference between surviving and legacy. So there are people, you know, what, 50 or 60 percent of the wealth that we have in this country has been passed down. But how many people can keep that? How many people can sustain that from generation to generation? And if you can, it means you work just as hard as your grandfather or great grandfather or great great grandpa. So, man, effort to me is a missing element when we talk about success.